Hi guys, welcome back to Funky Cool Threads. If you guys are new here, my name is Luisa and today we are doing a closet clean out continuation, but this time we're tackling my drawers. So, this little vintage drawer doesn't really look like much, but I promise you that the minute I put all this clean laundry back in here, this drawer is bound to break, like eventually. And I'm gonna be so sad when that happens because they're just so precious to me and this is something i definitely want to take into like my new home eventually don't mind me i'm sitting in the kids like tiny little chair because <laughs> i just didn't want to be on the floor doing this but we're going to be going into this first drawer so all the t-shirts i'm really sentimental to just because i've had them since i was like in high school and stuff like that this one honestly I don't ever wear it. I just feel like it's too small for me and it's not really my vibe. I only buy 49ers wear for like my husband because like he likes me going to the games with him when I do go and like he likes me to wear 49ers stuff on game day and um that's pretty much it. But this one's just doesn't I don't like the long sleeve, so we're not just we're not doing that. See. Oh, this I have to keep. This is my uncle's body shop out in Santa Paula. So, if you guys need any work done, Estrella's Auto Body, you already know, girl. I don't have to tell you twice. This top, I am officially ready to say goodbye to it. I have had it for a decade, guys. Like, a literal decade. It's just a velvet, like, like halter neck and it's like a choker vibe it is so beautiful um it used to be very sentimental to me because i wore this a lot at one point in my life but we are getting rid of her she is by the brand hyssop hyssop made in the usa so yes we are getting rid of her so we're gonna throw her up here I'm keeping this. All my t-shirts from high school are cut up in some way and I'm so mad at myself for doing that. But I told Juan Carlos that all my t-shirts, I eventually either want to pass them down to Caramia or because they're just so ripped up, I want to um I want to make them into like a blanket for her. I feel like she would really love that. Oh, this is a Harley Davidson like Fresno t-shirt. I really like it and I don't know I just I just fuck with this one it's cool and I like the graphic on the back it just says Fresno and it's it's really neat so we're gonna keep this one cool t-shirts this one i want to get rid of it just doesn't fit oh, me so i don't gosh, okay it, it doesn't fit me so i just don't gravitate towards it it's a harley davidson one i love the fade on it i just think it's super sick and it's from um hawaii but i just love i love this graphic so much but honestly guys it just does not fit me it's too like loose on me and i don't even think it has the size like so she doesn't have a size, but I feel like she fits more of like a large, extra large, so we're getting rid of her as well. Mama, I'm gonna put that in that mama, side. mama. Yes. I feel like tops like these are not supposed to be in here, so these are tops that I definitely need to just start hanging. They should not be in my t-shirt drawer, so obviously I'm keeping this one. I love this shirt, but I never see it because it's just in the drawer. Along with this one too, I love this top so much. Uh, my girlfriend actually passed it down to me and I really like it. The only thing is that like, 
I don't know how it's how to explain it, but like it hugs me so perfectly up here, but it's like loose up here because I don't really have like obviously the boobs for it. So what I need to do is just like stitch this a little bit tighter just so it fits like a little bit just like smoother if that makes sense. But I love this one. It's like a denim um, top. It's by Paris Blues. She told me I think it was like a one piece before like it was a dress but she cut it which honestly i don't mind it i love this piece so much so definitely need to hang that this shirt it's been in my closet forever I used to listen to this band so much, also from like 2008. It's a really, really old, but it's somewhat like on the older side. It's all ripped up and like all messed up. It's from 2010, so yeah, she is really, really torn. Like this side's about to like almost completely torn in half. This side still has some life left to it, but I still really wear this t-shirt. Like. A little too much but this is one of the ones that I feel like I'm gonna eventually make into like a blanket this shirt sure I'm never getting rid of it's uh, one of my uncles he used to play professional soccer um, in Mexico and stuff so he played for a lot of different teams Cruz Azul is one of like the first teams that he played for and his name is Adrian Cermeño so this is like one I'm always just going to keep because I'm like a fan of him forever and ever <laughs> and he comes to visit us actually quite often maybe like twice a year so yeah, I just, I love this t-shirt, so I'm always gonna keep it. It's obviously make, means something to me. Getting rid of this, like what girl? No, I'm not even from Los Angeles. Okay, so that was cool. That was the first two drawers. Now I feel like we're gonna head over to like, the drawers that I'm like not looking forward to so let's go okay this is the side that I feel most horrible about because this is a side Juan Carlos sleeps on and this is what he has to look at is these like really just crazy drawers so we're just gonna go through them super quick there is absolutely no good angle that I can put you guys in because this spot is just so tiny and then don't mind my my mattress I normally have a skirt on this but it's was driving me crazy so I took it off and don't mind Benny either being a little baby over here, my baby boy. What's going on, Bubba? Okay, as you can see, like, this is really bad. This side's, this side's so horrible. I try to just avoid this side of all costs. You see, like, this one already has a freaking lint ball from just, like, being in there for too long. This one I'm keeping, it's my brother's old PE shirt from like Fillmore, from where we used to live, so I just love it. I like to wear this sometimes with just like some high-waisted shorts or like just like cool like jeans or something because it's just like nostalgic to me. This shirt I'm definitely keeping. This was my first ever like funky cool threads t-shirt, my first ever shop shirt and it's just so meaningful to me. I actually had one of my girlfriends make it and she made um, one for Karamia too so I'm, I'm keeping this forever. Oh my god, my Harry Potter t-shirts, I just, <laughs> this is what I mean, like I'm not getting rid of much. And it's like, I don't wear it, but it's like, I don't want to get rid of it because all of it's so sentimental to me. Like I've had it since high school. I love Harry Potter. So it's just like, you know, like I have to like store all these t-shirts away or just really put aside the ones that I really do wear 
that I can like just wear with like outfits and stuff. But like a V-neck like this, I would never just like wear it out, but it's meaningful to me. So it's like, you know, I feel like, damn it. Like I have to keep it. This is a sports bra, it shouldn't even be here. Let's see this one. Oh my God, I have to keep this one. You see what I mean? Ah! This was my mom's. Like she used to wear this a lot too when I was like younger. And I just remember my mom in this t-shirt and it just says fans on it. And it's like, I don't even know how old this is. I don't even know how I would be able to date this, but I feel like my mom's had this forever. So I just have to keep it, you know? It's like one of those things. <laughs> Like, if it was my mom's, it's mine now. It's like, one day it will be gone, yes, hopefully. This, I just, I don't fit in this. I can already, I already know. And I, this is, um, another Harry Potter t-shirt, forever keeping. Mm, just another Harry Potter shirt that I'm forever keeping. You guys, oh my God. In my fashion, my 2024 uh, fashion video, I posted a picture and I'm wearing this shirt. Like that's how long I've had it. I've had this for over a decade, but I absolutely like, I love it. Like I'm never getting rid of it. I'm pretty sure like all those Harry Potter t-shirts were from Hot Topic. Oh my God. This is my first ever, I want to say Harley Davidson t-shirt. I remember like this guy I was dating, he was like in, he like, he gave this to me. god i'm all dusty yeah. okay so we're getting rid of quite a bit um i'll show you guys my drawers after i'm done organizing them and putting some stuff back in there okay okay guys that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i honestly did not get a chance to finish the video i ended up getting very sick it finally hit me i was the last one in the bundle to get sick so yeah, um, I haven't been feeling the best this past couple of days, but you know what? It's okay. We're getting better. Um, I've been taking some medicine. I've been drinking some tea, and I'm just ready to just, like, feel like myself again. Because you know when you're just sick, you just want to be on the couch all day. You don't want to move, and that's where I've been literally all day today. So, ugh. I'm just so sorry I didn't finish the video. This is not like me and I just feel, re I'm honestly really beating myself up over it. But I mean, I hope you guys don't get mad, but I hope you guys enjoyed what I did get to film and I hopefully I get to see you guys again. I know I have one more video to film for you guys, but honestly guys, I just don't know if I'm fully there like physically and like mentally. <laughs> to do that for you guys because i'm just not feeling my best right now so if i don't see you guys before the new year feliz año nuevo feliz navidad so enjoy your family and friends and all your loved ones and i wish you guys the best in this new year and i hope you guys get everything that you worked so hard for this upcoming year and keep pushing through keep being you and keep being fucking funky baby <laughs> so as always give your girl a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you guys soon hopefully so bye guys oh, no.